Hello, I am back. Hi. So I'm really sorry to have dropped off the face of YouTube for a few months because I was busy handling my internship and busy being a student amongst many other things. And this plate could not take one more thing, which was vlogging. However, I have filmed quite a couple of things over the past few months while I was having a pretty hard time and I thought that it was too good to share with just me and myself. So this uh, video is kind of a different style from what I usually do. It's, it's more of like a compilation video so you know like the tea spill or like certain channels would have like the and then they will cut to another video. That's what I've tried to do. Of course, it would not be a Rucha video without a topic. So compilation video concept aside, the topic for this week's video this week, like I post every week. <laughs> the topic for this video is, is a work-life balance possible in Singapore with a really hard education system? Is a work-life balance possible? Let's see today. Hello. What are we doing? Stepping up our game. Yes, we are. <laughs> Yes, please say hi. <laughs> Panchika, hi. Hi. Let me introduce, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she eat, she eats the pineapples first before the um, the chicken. If there's a weirder person in the world, this is one of them, baby. <laughs> we all people. So if anyone is wondering why I'm eating spicy noodles like the Bulldog Ramen, I have actually a couple of reasons why. Number one is that my eyes have been feeling quite dry recently so I'd like to give them the moisture that they deserve and desperately need. Number two, I've been feeling quite constipated so I hope this helps. <laughs> Number three, I just wanted to burn my mouth. That is all. I hope I shall enjoy. Hello, what is up? Today we are at Windsor Nature Park for some nature and we will be showing you around today. <laughs> What are you looking at? There's nothing there.
So hey everyone, I'm back at Hostel and I have something really fun to share with you is that I got myself a tattoo. It's a rose. I hope you can see it clearly. And no, it is not permanent. It is temporary. But I really like how prominent it is. Like even if I raise my hand to do something, like you can see it and it looks pretty nice. And the placement of the hand is super nice. So I'm excited to bring this around town. <laughs> Hello family, happy Saturday! Today we are barbecue event on the 15th floor and it's gonna be time for sunset soon so have at the reservoir that I'm facing and looking at for this entire evening. It's a sky terrace and garden so all of the blocks can be seen from here. Our barbecue pit is right at the end so I'm walking back to the pit and this is the route. It's all the way there. You can see my dad standing there looking at the barbecue. Just a little caveat, I have never been for Halloween Horror Nights ever, so I have no kind of like basal experience to go off by pre-COVID. I'm going for the first time post-COVID. Halloween Horror Nights this year had five main attractions. Three of them were haunted houses, two of them were scare zones, and we went to all five of them. So here's my experience. Okay, camera. Okay. <laughs> Congrats, you're done. Yeah. Okay, first of all, thoughts on Illustrator, how was it? Please summarize in one liner. Some scream in my ear. Dancing and making eye contact with the skag. It was very funny. Chai was being scared too first. Yeah, and I didn't get scared by anyone except that one that went hello. I was like, hi. <laughs> Anyways, we got our drinks. Would you want to show your drinks? Yay. How do you open this up? Oh, just yeah. <laughs> Also, you can't even see this, but we are in queue for a haunted house. What's going on? No, we see that much. So it is the end of HHN, and we are trying to take the bus or train back. Let's see what happens because there's a lot of people. Here. We couldn't get on the train. Sentosa has a monorail that takes you to the train station that was closed. So we decided to take a bus back and. God, it was a whole journey but I finally got back safe around 12 30 1 o'clock and I told a real quick it is week 10 we are slowly going crazy it is slowly? drizzling I think you mean fasting <laughs> Oh no, I get nothing. I don't have one yet. Mm -hmm. It's water. <laughs> I feel like I'm at the dentist. <laughs>
if you make the time to play, you will play. If you don't, obviously you will never play. But then of course, you work hard, you play harder, but if you play a little too hard, you can have some consequences. So now let me finally talk to you guys. So number one, life update. I'm currently in Prince George Park Residences. And anyways, I am moving out this coming Saturday. So I've started packing up a little bit. Uh, apart from that, I am almost going to complete my internship. I have about a month left. If you guys would like to see me talk about my internship, kind of share the do's and don'ts and talk about my experience, please do let me know. I would be happy to make a video about that. In other news, I am traveling to Bali in less than a month. I will be traveling to Bali for 10 days with a friend and of course, of course, I will be vlogging the entire trip and I'll be bringing you guys along with me as well so stay tuned for some Bali content we're gonna get it ah. and with that said that is all that I have for you today I hope you have a amazing rest of the day good morning good afternoon good evening good night good whatever from whatever you're watching this in the world I will see you again next time bye